high winds causing all kinds of problems. Yeah, we look at with the fire situation, of course, kicking up those winds, that dust, power outages. Well, as we look forward today, fire weather concerns across southern Utah with red flag warnings in place as we go Washington County, Kanab, Grand, uh, Grand Staircase, Escalante area up through Lake Powell as we'll be seeing winds anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour. So nothing of great strength is that persistent winds with gu uh, wind gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour that does cause a concern, especially with these low humidity levels. Now this cool front which brought the winds, some showers across northern Utah beginning to exit the stake, but it's changed the wind direction out of the northwest as we're finding sustained winds anywhere between 10 to 25 miles per hour along the Wasatch Front. As it's a cooler start, the dust settling though, as we look along the Wasatch Front, we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Now, as we look at the pollen count situation, yeah, I don't have dust in there. I should because we still see some dust in the air across the state, but trees the culprit if you're sniffling right now. We got a little help though from Mother Nature, at least for northern Utah, with some rain showers. That's allowing for that pollen count to decrease just a little bit here starting off the weekend. We look ahead though, where for today, it's cooler, but we've got the sunshine. Tomorrow, it's cooler, but cloudy. Yeah, we're going to be increasing clouds, at least across northern Utah. It's going to be kind of a great day. We see a chance of showers returning into the area, at least for northern Utah. Looks like Monday afternoon, a possibility of seeing some scattered rain showers. We're not seeing the rain right now. Looking at radar, it is quiet out there across southern Utah. You've got mostly clear conditions. Maybe a sprinkle as you exit the state uh, for northern Utah. Yeah, no activity from radar as we're going to be hanging on to the sunshine. But we're under this cool northwesterly flow right right now, which will allow temperatures to be well below normal as we're going to keep this flow going throughout the weekend. And another embedded disturbance looks to swing through hitting the state as we look towards Monday afternoon. So for today, we're going to be looking at mostly sunny skies across the state. Temperatures almost 10 degrees below normal. Upper 50s in Ogden, low 60s in Salt Lake City, only 40s uh, today in Park City, mid 60s in Price in that similar temperature range through central Utah, southwestern Utah, at least in Cedar City here at 68 degrees and 80s in St. George. Now for Mother's Day, here's what we're looking at. For northern Utah, I mentioned we're going to be seeing some clouds in place. Highs only near 60 degrees, at least in Salt Lake City, Park City, we're near 50 degrees. So if you're planning an afternoon barbecue for Mother's Day, uh, it's going to be a little cool outside, so you might want to cook things up on the grill, go inside to enjoy the meal. Uh, it looks like we'll see plenty of sunshine, though, across southern Utah, and temperatures not too bad, more in a comfortable range with 70s and 80s. Now, for St. George, once we get past tomorrow, we'll be hanging on to the 80s. We're going to keep it dry for the next seven days as we'll be cranking up the heat Wednesday and Thursday, low to mid-90s, so that summer heat returning as we look towards the middle of the week. It's going to remain cool here along the Wasatch Front. Partly cloudy skies today. Actually, I should say mostly sunny skies today. Tomorrow, we'll bring in the clouds. It's going to be dry. A chance of some afternoon sprinkles there on Monday. Scattered showers in place. It moves on, and then that high pressure builds in. And look where we're going temperature-wise. We're back into the 80s Thursday and Friday, so bouncing around here with temperatures. Not a lot of rain in the forecast. We keep it dry, though, for the weekend. Wish we could see more sunshine for Mother's Day, but we don't see any rain. Mm, all right, all right. We could use the rain, though, right? We really could. It's just a slight oh. chance on Monday afternoon. And it's cooler this weekend. It's not the 80-something we no, were no, experiencing. No, yeah, we need a little bit of a cool down. I don't want to get too hot too okay. quick. All right. The ups and downs of spring. Thanks so much. <laughs>